smallest state on earth, the Republic of San Marino in Italy's hinterland. The Ruritanian uniforms of San Marino's army disguise a passionate pride in independence. Today, they turn out to do an important job, the installation of two new leaders, San Marino's famous Captain's Regent. The retiring regents in the center, the new on either side. They march solemnly to the palace for a ceremony that takes place twice a year in this tiny republic. In with the new, out with the old. Maybe little San Marino could teach us something. With new leaders every six months, there just isn't time for anybody to get power-hungry ideas. The elaborate ceremonial isn't something dreamed up in San Marino's tourist bureau. Although the tourists do flock in to see the colorful ritual, it dates back in unbroken continuity to the 13th century. The retiring regents and the new captain's regent being sworn in. The old regents transfer the sash of office to their successors. The office of captain's regent is hedged in by strict safeguards. For instance, the holders cannot inherit the title, they must be elected. The keys of the city of San Marino mean to the citizens a proud democratic tradition, jealously guarded. Throughout their long history, as wars and revolutions ebbed and flowed around them, the Samaranese maintained an impartial neutrality. It is their boast that they've never humiliated or oppressed anyone, a record any country, large or small, could well be proud of. At the other end of the world, in India, a ceremony just as important